Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown and welcome to the fifth and last in a series of 2018 Christmas cards for my Christmas in July week on Ink and Inspirations. And for this last card, I wanted to do a really cute and simple card that would be uh, just right to send to children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews. And so I chose the Cookie Cutter Christmas stamp set from that's carried over from last year and the cookie cutter builder punch. These are adorable images and perfect for coloring with your Stampin' Blends, especially on these three here. So for this one, the sample, I did um, this little Eskimo. I just love him and the sentiment that goes with him. In fact, this sentiment can go with any stamp set that you use. Warm, heartfelt greetings for a very Merry Christmas. This paper is from the Garden Impressions 6x6 stack with Knight of Navy and Pacific Point in there. And so anyway, I use my uh, Stampin' Blends to color. These, this is Knight of Navy, Crumb Cake for the Shoes, and then um, Ivory for his face. And then for the fur, I just went over that with my... Um, wink of Stella pen. So let me put one together for you. I have most of the work done. The card base for these is a thick whisper white cut at four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. The designer paper for the layer on top is cut at four by five and a quarter. This is from the under the mistletoe designer paper collection in the annual catalog. And I'm just going to put that over top. It's a pretty plaid with real red and old olive. And then I have lots of strips, one inch strips from where I cut my white, Whisper White cardstock for the interior of my cards. I have these half inch strips that I save because they're the perfect size for many of our sentiments. So I've already stamped that same greeting again in real red. And then what I do is I just cut off what I need. And let's see, give my, I'm just gonna cut this at an angle here. And then I'm cutting this one straight across, okay? And that is going to go just right here. I'm gonna line that up on that plaid line just like that okay then I this time I took the little Santa and because I'm colored with Stampin Blends I used tuxedo black memento ink colored with my cherry co cobbler marker I decided to add old olive gloves to give him some color and I used I believe this is a light smoky slate and again a wink of Stella on his beard, mustache, and fur. So I'm just going to attach that right there. And I'm leaving the inside of these cards blank uh, because I may personalize them with an alphabet set to send to a little one. Okay, let me get just a little added touch here. Some of our Whisper White Baker's Twine and put that right there as a little accent. And there you have a really easy and cute card uh, for Christmas, especially good for little ones. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the cards for Christmas in July week 2018. If you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com and I will see you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.